Hi there. Now, you should already be familiar with the scalar product or dot product form for the equation of a plane. R dot n equals a constant d, where r is the position vector of any point, say p, on the plane. n is a vector which is normal to the plane. Let's say it's got components a, b, and c. And so you end up with r dot n equals the constant d. And if you're unsure of this, do check out my earlier videos on the scalar product or dot product form of the equation of a plane. Now, what I want to do in this video is just extend this further, give you another form that is closely related to this. Just suppose we've got a point on the plane, a known point, let's say A, with position vector little a here. Then, if that's the case, it must satisfy this equation. There must be a point where P is the same as A. So R would equal A. So if that's the case, let's just put in here, then we know that it will satisfy this equation. So instead of R, we can just write A dotted with the normal vector will equal the constant D. So if I call this equation 1, and I substitute this result into 1, let's just put sub in 1, then what I get is that r dot n must equal, in place of d, a dotted with n. And this is another form of the plane. You could take this term from both sides and pull out n as a common factor. If you do that, you're going to get r minus a, okay, dotted with the vector n equals zero. So that's just rearranging this equation here. And this gives us another form of the equation of a plane. When you know a point on the plane, let's say with position vector a. So I'd like to just run through an example so that we can get further practice on this. In fact, you might even want to have a go at this one. What we've got here is to find an equation for the plane containing the point A with coordinates 5, minus 2, minus 1. And it's perpendicular to the vector 2i minus 3j plus 4k. Now it says find an equation for the plane. So we've got this equation that we could use here, or we could even use this one. I'll do both and we can compare the uh, advantages, disadvantages of using either one. So starting with this bottom one here, well, let's just have an intro first of all. We'll just say the equation is, and if that's the case, then I could write it as r then, position vector r, minus the position vector of the point on the plane, a, which we'll have here. You can be careful here. If you go for a row vector, then we've got the minus out the front. So it's going to be minus 5i, but then it's going to be plus 2j, and then plus k. All right? And then this is dotted with the normal to the plane. So that's going to be 2i, then minus 3j, plus 4k. And that is going to equal zero. So nice and quick there for the equation of the plane. Now, this particular equation is just one form then that we can do. The other form we could use is this one here. So uh, let's just check that one out and then we can compare the two. So with this particular form, we've got the position vector r. So we've got r dotted with the normal. I'll write the normal this time in column vector form because it'll be easier to work with. And in column vector form then the normal is going to be 2 minus 3, 4. 2 minus 3, 4. And this is equal to the position vector a dotted with n. Position vector of a in column vector form then will be 5 minus 2 minus 1. And that 2 will now be dotted with the normal vector, 2 minus 3, 4. And 
if we work this out, the scalar product here, we've got 5 times 2, which is 10, minus 2 times minus 3, which is 6, and minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. And this comes to 12. So you've got the form r dotted with this normal here equals 12. But you can see it takes a little bit longer to work out than this particular form. For this question, we are not asked which particular form to give, so we can do any one here. There is another form, though, that we could turn to, and this particular equation is useful. It's not something I'm particularly covering here. It's the Cartesian form. You might have seen that video already and know something about the Cartesian form. If not, we will be covering it in detail later on. But I'll just put here, note, the Cartesian form. The Cartesian form is one involving x, y's and z's, not vectors. So we get this particular form if we take the point P as having coordinates x, y, z. And if we dot x, y, z with the normal vector, then for this particular example, what we would get is 2x minus 3y plus 4z equals the constant 12. So the Cartesian form then would be 2x minus 3y plus 4z equals that constant 12. We often refer to this form as ax plus by plus cz equals d, where a, b and c are the components of the normal vector. And you'll see that's what's happening here. a is the 2, b is the minus 3, and c is the 4. But for now, just thought it'd be worth mentioning that in this particular video. But for further work on this, do check out the video on the Cartesian form of a plane, okay? But the purpose of this video was just to demonstrate, really, these two particular forms linked to the scalar product form where you know a known point on the plane. So I hope that was of some use to you, okay?